Hey, it's my first tutorial, and that's my face. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a really fun alien holographic-like space bay festival summertime look. So stay tuned. So the first step in any eye look is going to be priming the eye. That's really, really essential no matter if you're doing a very soft neutral look or if you're doing something a little crazy like this. So for the eyeshadow primer that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a white based one. This one is from Smashbox. It's their photo finish lid primer. Um, the reason I'm using a white primer instead of a skin toned one is because I really, really want these like shadows to like pop. So you want to go ahead and just blend this all over the lid and into the brow bone like so. Also, you are going to want to apply this buddy underneath the lash line on the bottom. So it's kind of like a whole 360 of your eye. So for this look, I'm going to be using two palettes. Um, so let's start with the first one. This one's really, really cool. I discovered it off of Instagram. The brand is, I really, really hope I'm pronouncing it right, Syzygy. If not, I think it's Sy Syzygy. Forgive me. But uh, so this, this palette is really cool. Check out the front. It's like holographic changing. I'm going to be using the shade Nebula. Um, this one is kind of like a fuchsia to lilac uh, color change. And so normally I would not recommend putting any like shimmers or glitter in the crease, but since this look is kind of unconventional, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to just blend this sucker in. So what I'm doing is called directional blending and directional blending is really, really important if you want to have more control over your blending and it to have like a bit more of a finished look. So instead of going back and forth like this or doing rainbows, I am doing a buffing motion in an arch. So I'm starting from the end of my brow and I am just buffing it in. And so when you do this, it actually prevents things from blowing out too big. Um, and it also is just like, it looks blended. All right, so we're gonna go into the next palette that I was talking about, and this one is kind of dirty looking, but it's okay. So this is the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D, and it's a holographic palette. Palette, it's a holographic palette. And so I'm gonna be taking a separate fluffy brush or blendy brush. And I'm going to be taking the color blue sapphire and do the same directional blending, um, but don't blow out the color as much as we did with Nebula. You want to keep on blending. So I'm also going to pop the blue sapphire underneath my eye, just like we did with Nebula. And I'm still doing directional blending. I'm just kind of pushing it from the inner corner out. Okay, perfect. So going back to the Sizeg, Sizeg, y'all, it's called the Comet Crush palette. So going back to the Comet Crush palette, I'm gonna take another color and it's called Nova. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger once more and apply it onto the lid and onto the lid only. So this is gonna be our base for our sparkly galaxy, whatever awesomeness is going on in my eye right now. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and blend 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 we're gonna take a flat brush that's right a flat brush <laughs> and we're gonna go back to the alchemist palette real quick grab the shade pink opal and buff that into the brow bone i'm loving it yeah i'm loving it and then kind of just a little bit here and now is the fun part so on this eye i have a uh, lit cosmetics glitter called you're a star you're a star this is a glitter that is actually more of these little holographic uh, stars and we are going to be putting it on the lid um, but first let me make a recommendation in case you don't have any like stars i go to dollar tree a lot because dollar tree has goodies like so you can use eyelash glue to apply them um, stickers i do recommend reusing things like the gems and the stickers it's good for the environment reduce reuse recycle 
All right, so I uh, I thought I was recording when I put this step in, but it wasn't recording. And then I like had a little bit where I was talking and stuff, and you know what? It didn't record. So I'm gonna tell you what happened here. I took a glitter liner from Urban Decay. This is the heavy metal. Get metal! Heavy metal glitter liner. I went ahead and put that a third of the way into the inner corner of my eye, and also a third of the way in that up inner corner. So the mascara we're gonna be using, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's very, very dark and dramatic. Everyone has like different ways to apply mascara. I'm more of a wiggle person, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wiggle. Oh, I will show you how to fix that. So step one to fixing mascara that gets in places it doesn't need to be, let it dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and focus back on my lashes. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna show you how to take off mascara that goes in places that it doesn't belong. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and remember it's dried, the mascara. And I'm just gonna work on just wiping it off. Oh my God, look, it's gone. I'm gonna do the same up here. All right, and this is the absolute finishing look. Okay, so you guys are alien babe ready. We also fixed our little happy accident. And you know what? It's not perfect, but that's reality, right? Thank you so much for sticking around for this first tutorial, you guys. Okay, so social media links. Um, you guys can find my Instagram at nikki.martinez.mua. And if you are interested in booking any services with me, um, my website is nikki.martinez.mua.com. Go out there and have fun.